most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Addis Euclo. All right, Addis, you were saying it was pretty busy at the grocery store today. It was a madhouse. Could that be because of tomorrow? I honestly don't know. Uh, we're going into the holidays, so that could be part of it too. Maybe people getting their supplies, whatever they need. But it was busy today for sure. Now, this what we're going to get tomorrow morning is not going to be a big deal when it comes to any disruptions to travel. But if you are up early tomorrow morning, just don't be surprised if you see a little snow out there. Right now we're at 39 in Wormleysburg. So we did top out in the low to mid 40s today. Still not too bad for what is now almost mid-December. But some of us have now cooled off down into the mid and even lower 30s. We've got 34 Kinsers, 37 in Mon Alto, and in Mercersburg. Winds are pretty light. That will remain the case overnight with the clouds thickening up. Temperatures won't drop quite as far as where we did this morning. There was a very uh, thick frost out there in most of the area. So you can see there are some spits of drizzle, at least according to the radar. Not all of this is reaching the ground, but just don't be surprised if you're driving around over the next one to two hours that you encounter some very fine droplets on your windshield. That would be about it. The main part of this system that we're watching is still up toward Michigan. It's an area of low pressure that's just now getting its act together. And this is going to dive southeast overnight and bring us a little bit of snow mixed in with some rain showers. So let's time this out for you. You can see uh, this evening we're pretty quiet. Overnight tonight, those clouds thicken. And notice overnight is when we start to see some of these snow showers develop. Notice temperatures, though, we're mainly above freezing. So that means we're not really expecting any impacts to roads even as this starts to pick up in spots tomorrow morning. Now, notice if you live, let's say, along and south of I-81, this could be predominantly rain with a little snow mixed in. If you're going to get a slushy accumulation of maybe a half inch, it's going to be well north of Harrisburg. That will then wrap up and is primarily rain showers for everybody tomorrow afternoon as temperatures don't get much above 40 degrees. And so by tomorrow night, this is all finished. What to expect? Some light snow showers developing overnight between midnight and 6 a.m. Temperatures, I'd say, at or above freezing for most of us. And then wet snow continues for areas north of Harrisburg, while rain showers will take place for areas south. Any a bit of a rain snow mix then wraps up tomorrow afternoon as temperatures stay near 40 degrees. The overnight lows next week are going to really be dropping as we head into Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Overnight lows dipping down into the 20s. Normal high still, or I should say normal low, is still around 30. And this is important because of our next system that we're following. We're going to see that colder air move in thanks to high pressure over Canada. And then that next area of low pressure moves in from the west, kind of running into that colder air. Now, notice what happens. We start to see one low kind of hand off its energy to the coast. Now, also notice there's some warmer air sneaking in based on today's run. So there's still a lot that could happen, but I do want to at least let you know that we are watching for a wintry mix as we head toward the end of next week. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday look quiet, just a little on the chilly side. And then Taylor, Thursday is when that wintry mix would arrive, possibly ending as straight snow as we head into Friday morning. So still lots to track with that. We'll keep you updated. We'll have another update tonight at 11 and tomorrow morning. All right, a few days to keep keep an eye out for. Yes, yes, and I guarantee you things will change, so stay tuned. All right, thank you, Addis. Yep.